If you compare this album, this this new album, if you compare it to your previous work, uh, where does it stand for you? Um, this is like um, my last two albums. That was the end of book one. This is the start of book two, or a second chapter, because um, for some reason this new album has made me feel like nothing else exists before it yeah. now. Yeah, and it's the only album that's done that. You know, it's my tenth, but now. It's kind of, for me, it's, white, it's weird, I don't know. From when this album was done, all the records in my past are, it's just nothing to do with me now. And I know I've got better albums in me as well. I, can, I, can, I know, you know? So this is like a new start for me. That, those, that other stuff, it, it seems like it doesn't exist. How come? How come you have this feeling? What the... I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I'm in a good position again with my deal. You know, this is like, it feels like I'm with Island Records again, because Island give me so much freedom. So I don't know if it's finding the right place, because um, I've been floating around for a long time with different labels, and, you know, and I've had some good relationships, some bad relationships, and, um, so I, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it feels like um, this is the beginning of my career. Are you happy in your private life too? Yeah, more happy now than I've been for many years because now I realize um, I've been doing it so long and I know success is not gonna make you happy, money is not gonna make you happy, fame is not gonna make you happy. And I've been around the world and I meet a lot of good people you know, in my shows and stuff. Like, I met a kid in America who was in a coma for 10 days and his parents played my music to him. And he came up to me and he's, he told me the story and I was like, I don't know what to say to you. And he's like, you don't have to say anything and just walked off. And you know, I've met, uh, 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 my drummer met a nurse in Philadelphia who worked in a children's burns unit and they played my music to the kids in the burns unit. I. I realize this ain't about me now. Do you know what I mean? It's took a long time. You know, and I meet kids all over the world like who weren't, were too young for pre-millennium or Max and Quay or Nearly God, and they say, you know, this has helped me through a period in my life. This has helped me get through a hard period in my life. Is this how you perceive your music yourself too? Now I realize I'm not, this is not about me, so, um, whether I sell records, whether I make money, it doesn't matter. It makes everything a lot easier. There's a song, uh, Nothing's Changed. Uh, you sing in there, I Still Heard the Same. Mm. Is this song autobiographical? Is it, or is it? Yeah, it's like, a, um, say for instance, like say the success thing, right? Um, it's, it doesn't wipe out, like say my mum's memory, the, the, the pain I have. Yeah, because because she passed away with you for you. Yeah, she committed suicide. Okay. So I still hurt the same now. Through all the success, through all the, you know, been around the world. I've I've made money. I've lost money. And um, so and some people think you know because you're on TV or you're on the radio or everything's okay. Nah, it's still the same. I'm still. It's like I'm still like you, I'm still like everybody else. Yeah. I'm still no different. And people should not see it. There's no difference. People seem to think artists one level and then people on another level. It's really not like that. We're, we're, we're um, just as insecure as anybody else, you know. Um, but a lot of the big stars, they won't ever show you yeah. because they have to be confident.